Hey, what's going on there everyone? Today's video is going to be covering Auth Me for your Bungie Cord server. And quite a bit of you have been asking about a tutorial of this type of thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so once you have your Bungie Cord network set up, you need to install AuthMe Reloaded to each one of your backend servers. So make sure you have all that set up. And then on your Bungie Cord server only, we can go here, go to our plugins folder, and this is where we have the AuthMe Bungie. So make sure you have that only in your Bungie Cord server, and uh, go ahead and restart it, and then you'll get this folder. And this is pretty much the default configuration. The only thing I have changed is uh, the auth servers, uh, and I just set it up for my hub server. Uh, so the names here are gonna be represented by what you have in your uh, base configuration for uh, the server. So here is the hub. So uh, make sure uh, the name matches whatever you set in the configuration. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace. And if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there. So make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description and you can find some great plugins for your server. So now if we log in here with my uh, super secret password here, as you can see, we already have data registered on our hub server with AuthMe. And none of my other servers have any type of data registered, and that means we need to sync up everything with MySQL database. If I try to go to survival, it probably won't let me because we haven't defined the servers in our Bungie Auth uh, plugin. So let's go ahead and do that first real quick. So let me switch over to our configuration here. We go to our plugins folder, go into auth me, and then your config.yml. So as I mentioned, uh, this is our main hub server that is registered as an auth server. If each one of your backend servers have auth me reloaded, you can actually set this option to true, and it's going to basically uh, check every server if you have uh, that plugin installed, which is pretty helpful. Or you can just list them out one by one, it just depends on what you want to do. Everything else here is pretty much default. You can add some more uh, whitelist commands if you want to add that in here. Uh, and then one thing I do recommend is setting this to true. Basically, whenever a player goes to another server, it's going to automatically log them in. That way they don't have to re-log in every single server, which can get annoying. So once you have uh, those settings uh, configured and changed, we can go ahead and restart a bungee cord server. So now we are logged back into our server and this next portion is going to be specifically if you have a situation where you have a single server that already has auth me data. So my hub server already had registered users on it and I need to export that to a database because if you don't export it then it's going to basically refresh your whole data and all your server is going to have to re-register once you switch over. So if this is a situation that applies to you make sure you watch this specific portion. If this does not apply to you, you can skip forward in the video, uh, but let me go ahead and get started with how this works. So we need to go into our files. I'm going to open this in a new tab because we can quickly access the rest of these. So in our hub server, as I mentioned, we have in our plugins folder, authme data. So this is the database that is basically locally stored in the files. So this is uh, what we are going to be using a little bit later. We need to go into our configurations and we need to set this uh, from the SQLite to a SQL database. So we can go ahead and change that and then make sure you set the caching to false because that is what it tells you right here. So we can go ahead and set this to false. Now we need to enter uh, all the database information uh, based on whatever you're gonna be making. So uh, come down here on Soul Node, and pretty much any type of hosting provider will offer you some sort of database. So I'm gonna head and create this and I call this auth me, you name it, whatever you want. In this instance for our database, it is the MariahDB type. And this is actually pretty important specifically for uh, auth me because it does uh, say the driver down here. So uh, make sure you are aware of what type of database that you're making. If it's just uh, normal SQL or Mariah, uh, just be aware of that. So the very first thing we can start filling out is our host, and that is the information right there. So we can just paste in the IP address, and we can put the 3306 goes right there. 
Uh, the database does also not have an SSL, so make sure you do ask your support uh, if it's SSL, uh, because some do, some don't, it just depends on uh, whatever they have set up. Uh, the username, we need to grab the username for right here and just paste that bad boy in there. And then the password we can find in our key section, password and paste it in. Perfect. So then in my instance, I'm going to be changing the driver. As I mentioned, ask your support team. And then here is the database, which is going to be the data database name right there. So we can just paste that in. So those are all the steps that you need for the MySQL database section. Next thing is we need to change one more thing. So I'm going to type in bungee cord at the very bottom is under the hooks section. And we need to enable bungee cord right here. And then, uh, for example, if you have some sort of limbo server, uh, when players log in, you could send it to the limbo. But I'm not going to put anything because this is already like my hub server. So I don't want to send anyone uh, to any other different server. So make sure we have that saved here. So go ahead and save that changes. And if we go back to our AuthMe database, so we're gonna be renaming this database to match with the database name that we made. So this is gonna be different for whatever database name that you selected, but essentially I'm just gonna copy this name right here. And then I'm going to rename our authme.db to exactly what our database name is. All right, so I'm just gonna rename that and I'm just going to remove the name off me, and then we can paste in our specific name that we have. Once that has been renamed to match whatever your database name is, we can go ahead and restart our server. After the restart, you should get the notification saying the AuthMe has been registered to the SQL setup and it is now using the database. Now we need to convert all the local storage from all your users into the database. So to do that, it is a very helpful command is AuthMe converter. And if we do that, we're going to be actually converting the SQLite to the SQL database. So uh, that's what the one that we need to copy. And there's several plugins that you can actually convert it using the data, which is very helpful. Uh, but we're just going to be from the local storage to the SQL database. So go ahead and run that. And now it is successfully converted. Now let's go ahead and join in game and we should still be able to log in successfully. All right, so perfect. So now we can actually log in here and we did not have to re-register because now all of our data from the local storage is now in the database. If we try to go to another server, it probably will ask us to register because we need to add all of our backend servers to the database. As you can see right there, it is asking us to re-register again uh, because we haven't synced it up to the database. If I try to go back to the hub server here and uh, we should be able to log in uh, successfully, there we go. And we were able to re-log in and that is because of the off me bungee plugin allowing the auto login uh, that we set in the configuration. So now we need to uh, pretty much paste all of our database information to each one of those configs in our server. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember our hub server has all the database information. So I'm just gonna go to our plugins folder, go into off me and the config.yml. So to make sure everything is pretty much all the same, I'm just gonna copy this whole configuration uh, and then we're gonna paste it to each one of our servers. So I'm gonna copy the config and then if we go to our, I'm gonna make a new tab here. So we'll go to the plugins and then the plugins on Skyblock. So here is the survival one, and here is our config.yml, and I'm just gonna highlight this whole thing and then paste in the new one and make sure everything uh, successfully pasted, so that's good. Go ahead and save that, and then same for our Skyblock server, and then go back into off me, our config.yml, and we can paste in all our data, and that's perfect. Now we can restart our Skyblock server real quick. So we can restart our Skyblock, and we can also restart our survival server. All right, so joining back on the hub after we restarted everything, and now we are good to go. So let's go ahead and make sure everything is good. We can go to our survival server, and it should log us in automatically because of our database, and then our AuthMe uh, Bungie plugin. So there we go, it is working perfectly. We can type hi in chat. Good to go. So let's go to our Skyblock server, and we should have the same thing log us in automatically just like so and then we can type hi in chat we're good to go guys so that is how you set up auth me for your bungee cord network and using a database hope this was helpful share it around if it was and let me know if you have any other questions or comments down below have yourselves a wonderful day peace out mm -hmm.